I'm putting this weapon to the test, boys. It's come up way too often, and I think it's warranted the big question. Is the Blasphemous Blade even all that great? Is there even a single downside to a weapon that can cremate 30 enemies at once? I mean, probably, right? There has to be some negative to this weapon. This weapon can't be so easily accessed by following the main story, deal good damage just as a melee weapon, and have a crazy L2, right? I feel the best starting place for this discussion would be to ask ourselves what makes a good weapon anyway. Yes, having good damage is the first thing that comes to mind, but there needs to be a utility or adaptive element to your build, and I think it's the best if your primary weapon has that adaptability. And this sword just seems to have it all. Even killing common animals gains you health. The sword has to have a downside somewhere. <laughs> and damn it, I'm going to figure it out. It's time for some more Elden Ring science, baby! Whoa, wait. Can this go up walls? It can, what the hell? Okay, what the hell was that? Dude, are you serious? <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, it didn't hit him. Oh my god. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm not really gonna die here, right? Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> you serious? Okay, well, it sucks indoors, but there's plenty more science that we have to do. So, will I exploit the infamous blade of Rykard, or will I add to the fire? Who the hell knows? But like the video and let's get to it. Alright, I think it's time for some PvP, baby! Oh, shit. Okay, hi. I dig the twin blades. Oh. I feel like that one should have hit. Go! Oh. Wrong flask, wrong flask! I'm panicking! <laughs> They're pretty cool. I like his weapon. Hiya! Nope. Hiya! Nope. <laughs> He did a little, did a little spin there. How did that not hit him? Okay, wait. I'm actually mad. That was dumb. Uh, oh my god, dude! He does damage. All right, moving on to a different location. Just gotta find these guys. Man, this L2 is surprisingly easy to dodge. Stop running away. Okay, there we go. Man, it really is pretty easy to dodge. And I guess on some people, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bad timing on my part. How dare you? The disrespect, dude. I would never do that to somebody. Ooh. You know what? You deserve this. I spent like seven minutes looking for this guy. Alrighty, for this last bit, I'm just gonna do the voiceover and I'll have the clips running in the background. And we'll just talk a little bit about the, the blade, about what I found, about what I feel. So prior to making this, I hadn't used the Blasphemous Blade in PvP on purpose because when I'm making these videos, I, I like to actually be surprised or, I don't know, just figuring out, it's just, it's just more fun. And before that, I would have given this weapon like a, a solid 9 out of 10, 
but after using it in PvP, I'm not so sure I like it that much. And I'm honestly surprised that I am so like dissatisfied with it. The L2 ability has a hard time making contact with people in PvP. Whether it's due to my lack of timing or server lag is up for debate, but this weapon does have a hard time landing its strongest move, which is a pretty big con. And where the damage is good as a melee weapon, there are plenty of weapons with just as good or higher damage that can either swing faster or have a little bit of better range. Full disclosure though, my Blasphemous Blade is only a plus seven, so it's not maxed. There are a few enemy types that you'll have a hard time hitting the L2 special with, usually ones that jump around a lot or can just straight up fly while dodge almost every L2 attempt. And like my showdown with the knight, the weapon's L2 ability is stinky doo-doo indoors. Aside from all that, it's time to actually answer the question. Is the Blasphemous Blade even good? Uh, yeah, it is. The majority of anyone's time playing Elden Ring will be spent roaming around the lands in between and engaging enemy AI, not PvP. So where I think it kind of struggles in PvP, I don't think it would be fair to say that it's bad. It may not be my personal preference, but you can get by pretty much any area in the game with this weapon just due to the healing you get from enemies dying around you. And again, I'd like to mention you don't need to be the one killing to get the heal. An invader could kill someone near you and you'll get the heal. You can kill a goat or like an eagle or something, and just heal that way. And although the hitbox for the L2 sucks sometimes, it's got some reach, and it's really strong when it does hit. You may be able to argue that this weapon's stat requirement is a con as well, but you can't get this weapon until you defeat Rykard, and by that point in the game, I don't think anyone will have trouble respecking or just leveling to the stat requirements if you really want to use the weapon. So if you really want to use it, I'd say go for it. It's a solid weapon. Personally, I would give the Blasphemous Blade a six out of 10. I do a lot of PvP, it's fun, okay? Don't yell at me, I'm sensitive. All right, everyone. So yeah, that's it for the test for the Blasphemous Blade. I like doing videos like this, this is really fun. So I'm probably gonna do more. Uh, yeah, I'm a lot farther level now by the time I'm done recording this. So there's probably gonna be a lot more late game stuff, which is gonna be pretty cool. Some of the stuff is, is uh, it's pretty neat. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it, bye.